How's it going everyone? Welcome back. So if you got these problems on your iPhone cellular data, it says your iPhone is currently unable to access cellular data or make and receive calls or messages. If you ever encounter this on your iPhone, here is how I can solve it. Now to solve that problem, there are key things that we actually have to take a look at. The first things, we got to simply enable airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds on our iPhone. After that, just turn it off. Now, what this will do, this will quickly restart your network for your SIM card and your device as well. After that, just see if that works or not. So if you see, well, it did nothing. The next things we're going to have to do, we're going to take a look at that SIM card itself. So what you can do is take your SIM card from your iPhone. Please take a very close look at your SIM card. Make sure there's no damage or nothing at all. And then put your SIM card back again to your iPhone to see if that works or not. If you still have a problem, next, go to the uh, iPhone settings and then go to the general, tap about. And here, especially on the carrier, you most likely will get a update prompt where you have to just update your phone from here. If, if there's nothing, get out of here, open up your iPhone update and make sure your iPhone is up to date with the latest software version as possible in water to solve that problems on your iPhone. So let's say you also update your iPhone but still didn't work then the last work that you want to do get back here scroll down to screen time scroll down to the content and privacy restrictions here make sure to disable the content and privacy restrictions get out of here and then uh, open up your settings scroll down to the bottom tap transfer and reset iphone select reset and simply choose reset all setting don't worry this is not going to delete any of your data this is only going to change your wallpapers on your iphone which you which you can change the wallpaper later and it will reset your network settings as well now after that your problem is going to be solved now still if you have problems with your iphone then you have to be understanding that this problem is happening for the hardware issue not the software issues. In that case, you gotta take your device to Apple Care to solve your problem. Still have a question? Please let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.